Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our BMW 2 Series Tourer. Um, metallic black, I'll find out the proper BMW colour and put that on the advert so you know exactly what you're dealing with. Uh, LED daytime running lights, got the front parking sensors there. Alloy wheels are 17 inch few little areas where water's got under and sort of delaminated but overall very presentable and there is a set of matching Michelin Premacy tyres on there as well which uh, is always a good sign of a looked after car matching set of tyres indicators in the wing mirrors paintwork is lovely and straight throughout I can't see any previous paintwork that's been done and I've not had to do any touch-ins or anything myself, this is how it's come into me. Rear parking sensors down there as well. Electric tailgate, so that comes up automatically on its own. Great big boot, really nice for the size of the car. The genuine BMW inflation kit is still present down there. That beeping noise is just the parking sensors because I'm standing too close to them. You can release the tethers on the rear seats from there. And you've got a 12 volt point down here as well. That interior light is very bright, I think that's an LED. There's your first aid kit there. Uh, to close the boot, it's just that one there. Parcel shelf is present as well, by the way. Again, a few marks on that wheel there, but nothing too horrendous. As you can see, it's got the privacy glass from here all the way around the back. So a little scratch there. I will touch that one in. I didn't notice that one before. We'll have a look inside now, start at the back. Black and grey cloth trim throughout, sort of a contrast stitching. Electric windows in the back of course, and you've got your child locks just down there. Uh, really good legroom in this, a big selling point of these. And it's a 60-40 split rear seat as well, so I'll try and do it with one hand. I haven't quite got the strength, hang on, let me just put this down one second. There we are. So that shows that's as far back as it can go and that's as far forward as it can go. So gives you an idea of the legroom available at both ends of the spectrum. Should be able to push it back in with one hand, hopefully. There you are. Yeah. Um, now I think we have got some mats. They're over at the valeters still. Just had this one valeted. So I'll pop those in. Isofix points for the two outer rear seats. If you're not using the middle one, it's got this fold down armrest with cup holders. Airbags up here. The middle belt comes down from the roof to create a proper three point belt. Magazine holders in the back there. 12 volt point and separate air vents for the back as well. Other side, obviously, much the same, like a piano black gloss finishing. I'm just about to sneeze, so I do apologise. <laughs> Sorry about that. Everything in nice order there. Onto the front. Same piano black finishing. Obviously you've got electric windows in the front as well. You've got height adjustment on your passenger seat as well as the electric lumbar support. And being a sport model they do have these extendable seat bases as well. Now I have put this in for a valet and it's come out with a few little watermarks here so I'm going to get those redone so that will look better than it does there. Airbag. Glove box, you've got your owner's manual in there. I don't think there's anything else of note in the glove box. Nope. 
and you've got your BMW kick plates just there as well. There is a cutoff for the passenger's airbag and it has got Isofix points so it's all geared up to have another car seat in the front with you. So, as noted before, four electric windows, it's got a lock for those as well. Your electric mirrors and you've got your tailgate release down there as well. Driver's seat exactly the same, it's got a height adjustment and the electric lumbar support along with the extendable seat bases. Again, needs another going over from the balloters, but I will get that sorted. Little storage area there, auto headlights, headlamp aims and fog lights. As you can see it's got like a stitched leather dash there. Hop in now, just going to turn that radio down. Uh, you can see the mileage there at the bottom in the middle. 73,250 miles on this one. There's your wipers, they're auto. Onboard computer and indicators on that one. You just click the button on the end and it cycles through the various information available there. Multi-function sports steering wheel. Got cruise control on this side. And then your phone and audio on the other side. I'm not sure if it's got the speech. No, it doesn't have the speech module. So that one would just mute the radio. Airbag obviously built in as well. Over here, so DAB digital radio. And you also got various auxiliary inputs and Bluetooth audio. That shows it's got FM, AM and DAB. That's where you link up your telephone. And finally there's the sat-nav. It's got a disc slot as well, I think that's a 6 CD changer, I will double check on the spec sheet and put the correct information on the advert. The storage area here where I'm keeping the keys, two original BMW smart keys, dual zone climate control there, and you've got your driver modes there, Sport, Eco Pro, Comfort, some little explanations on there of what's going on. Electronic park brake, that's like the shortcuts I was using just now to show you the different modes up on the screen. Six speed manual gearbox, 12 volt point, two cup holders, auxiliary inputs there, which is USB and a traditional headphone jack. And then you've got an armrest here with storage inside it as well. You've got airbags up there, and the, don't know if you can see that too well, the lighting's not the best for that. Illuminated vanity mirrors, sensors for your alarms, speaker for your Bluetooth, and mic. Um, interior lighting there, that looks like an auto dimming rear view mirror to me, but it might just be part of the rain sensor, so I'm not 100% sure on that one. And I think that concludes everything that I can see. If I've missed something, please just give me a bell and I'll pop out and check for you straight away. Um, right, I'll include as many pictures as I possibly can of the interior, the exterior, and any paperwork that came with this vehicle. So along with this video, hopefully that'll give you a really good idea of what the car's actually like. If you're from distance and wanna have this one delivered, should give you the confidence to do so. Obviously, if you're more local to me and you can pop in and see the car for yourself, you're more than welcome to do so. We just ask that you please make an appointment first. Okay, thank you very much for watching.